prepare to whoop like a sweepstakes winner. Cancel our dinner. I've scored us two seats front row for the event of the season. You mean? Yes. But I know. Niles! I love it when they do it this way. I can pretend it's a Seahawks game. No, it's for the Cecilia Bartoli concert. My God, it's been sold out for months. How on earth did you ever score these tickets? I simply phoned the box office and said, this is Niles Crane, the new arts critic for the Monocle. <gasps> the Monocle? Isn't that that magazine they hand out to rich people in all the snootiest apartment buildings? And the snootiest hotels. <laughs> How did this happen, Niles? I was at a party thrown by the publisher, Olga mm -hmm. Swarbrick. Yes. The pretentious fop who had the job before me was there too, spouting sheer drivel about Leonard Bernstein. Being polite, I kept my tongue sheathed until he referred to Bernstein's conducting as overrated. I assume you pounced. Like a ninja. Well. <laughs> and by the time I'd finished with him, Olga could see I was a far better critic than that arrogant poser. She fired him right there. Well, he was leaving anyway for his junior year abroad. <laughs> Congratulations are in order. You know, who would have thought my little brother, a professional music critic? Oh, oh, and not just music. I can review anything I want. Theater, dance, art exhibits. You don't say. Yes, from now on, wherever we go, I'll be armed with my trusty pad and pen light. Wherever we go. <laughs> what fun. Yes. <laughs> have to take a damp cloth to these opera glasses. Although I don't know what we use them for, sitting in the front row, unless it's to scan the faces of the jealous people behind us. <laughs> oh, hello, all. Uh, oh, I see you already have the Times. I'm quoted there today. In the Times? Yes. Here, it's in this ad for uh, Shaw St. Joan. Incandescent, Niles Crane, the monocle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me while I go tell all my friends I know you. <laughs> uh. Uh. Forgive me. Hmm. Olga and I were up till all hours at a party for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Oh. I'm rubbing some pretty impressive shoulders these days. I think it's all because I have a small column. That would certainly be the Freudian interpretation. <laughs> if I were to review that attitude, I'd say it was a chilling portrait of malice and envy. Oh, Niles, I'm not the least bit envious that you get to spout off in that glorified cat box liner. <laughs> you just can't stand it that my opinion means more than yours. That the arts community looks to me for my insight, my approval, my thumbs up. I think we both know what your thumbs up these days. <laughs> A good one, Fraser. Perhaps you should use it in your column. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. <laughs> that smug jack. They're calling again. Fraser has left.